Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Clark, one of your district technology coaches, back here with Bloxy. So in this video, I'd like to show you a little bit about how to monitor your students while they're online. So um, for this uh, demonstration, I'm in one of my, my Bloxy classrooms right now, and I'm going to go ahead and start up a session in a minute. Um, in my previous videos, we talked about policies for your classroom. This is your ability to set what you want your kids to have access to and what your kids don't want you don't want them to have access to so you can have a policy for math class you can have a policy english whatever it happens to be custom tailored to your expectations so um if you want to start with a policy you simply hit edit and you can find it inside this now in my other videos i created one called math class and then you'd simply hit save that would enforce all of the rules you established in your policies instantly for all kids who are online okay i'm not going to do that for now i'm going to simply hit uh cancel um, i'm also going to open this window up for demonstration purposes now when you look at your screen you're going to see um, a little cell phone type symbol right next to um, each student that indicates that that student is online i'm going to go ahead and start the session now you can see this student is online and we can click on their window and open up and see what's going on. They currently have four tabs, one for Clever, ESPN, Epic Reading, and Hulu. Okay. Now, with any of these policies, you're going to have certain things that you're going to want to adjust. So let's just say we're looking at this student and ESPN should not be there. We can do two things. We can add it to the block list for your class. And we can close the tab. So block list, whoops, and close the tab. Now you can see it closed out of the student immediately. Now let's just say the student went and tried to open it up again. Going to the Chromebook now. You can see another tab just opened. Access denied. So you have that ability to block that instantly. Now the same thing can be said that you can open up something. So let's go up here and look at our URLs. We blocked ESPN. Let's hit allow and let's put in, we're going to allow that page. And now it moves from right to left. We go back down to that student, open them up. You can see that website is now fully open and ready to go. So you get to temporarily override anything blocked. Now, this is advantageous um, if your students need something, maybe for research that is blocked by administrators. Please use this um, tool very, very wisely. Um, it will be supervised by administration to be see what's, what the students are accessing. And if it's something that is typically blocked and involves student safety, um, it would be um, addressed immediately. So be very careful when you're deciding what to allow students to have if it happens to be blocked by the administration. Um, but as I said, you've got those options. Okay, You can even get other options here in the bottom. You can see you've got alerts. We can allow students to even share their screen with everybody else. So if a student's done something really awesome, we can allow the student and project their work to everybody else in the room. You can see we can close this to assessment. We can pause their screen for a heads up. We tell them how long. Let's say it's five minutes. And you can see it's now closed down. We can cancel it. I can send them a message just by choosing their name, Tegma. And that will appear right on the student's screen. We can do share or enforce. Now, share would open up a page on everybody else's website, okay, on everybody else's Chromebook, as opposed to enforce, which will close everything else out and would only allow them to access one site. And you could screenshot whatever the student is working on. Now, maybe they're accessing something that they shouldn't be, and you want a quick screenshot of whatever it is that's going on. 
Just remember, you can access, you know, allowed and blocked near the top. You even, take this guy off, have the option to load lists, uh, a CSV, or lists from your policies. We'll close that down for the time being. But most of your control and monitoring students is going to come from this screen right here. Okay? from closing to allowing things and stuff like that. So in terms of your supervision of students, that is your number one area to focus on. I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, have a great day.